Imagine a world where our cars no longer contribute to the growing threat of climate change. A world where cities are quieter, cleaner, and more sustainable. Electric vehicles EVs, have emerged as a central piece in this puzzle, transforming the automotive industry worldwide. From bustling metropolises to quieter, more rural areas, EVs have gained momentum as a symbol of innovation and a cleaner future. Zimbabwe, a nation rich in resources and driven by ambition, is joining the global push toward electric mobility. The government is investing in EV infrastructure, local innovators are creating groundbreaking technologies, and the market is hungry for sustainable transportation options. Zimbabwe, it seems, is on the cusp of becoming a significant player in the global EV movement. But then, a major disruption. A globally popular EV, the Tesla Cybertruck, has been banned from the Zimbabwean market. This decision, although controversial, signals more than just a regulatory move. It raises questions about the country's ambitions in the world of electric mobility and its commitment to building a sustainable, homegrown EV industry. Today, we're diving into the story behind the Cybertruck ban, the potential impacts on Zimbabwe's EV market, and the opportunities that might arise as a result. Zimbabwe, like many nations, is facing a crossroads. The urgency of adopting clean, green energy solutions has never been greater. As the world shifts toward sustainability, Zimbabwe is positioning itself as an active participant in the green revolution, and one of the most important aspects of this movement is the electric vehicle industry. Over the past few years, the Zimbabwean government has expressed its strong support for the shift towards electric mobility. The government has taken various steps to incentivize the growth of the electric vehicle sector. These efforts include offering tax breaks, creating favorable import policies for electric vehicles and their components, and promoting EV infrastructure development, such as charging stations. This has created a thriving ecosystem for the local EV market, one that seems set to grow exponentially in the coming years. The growing demand for sustainable transportation in Zimbabwe is reflected in the increasing number of consumers opting for electric cars as an alternative to traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. This shift is driven not just by the global push for environmental sustainability, but also by the financial burden that rising fuel prices have placed on the average Zimbabwean household. As electric vehicles become more affordable and accessible, Many are finding them to be a practical, long-term solution to fuel dependency. In the midst of these governmental efforts, Zimbabwean innovators are emerging with groundbreaking technologies and solutions. One such innovator is Maxwell Chikambutso, a Zimbabwean inventor and entrepreneur who is making waves with his self-powered car technology. His innovations hold the potential to revolutionize Zimbabwe's EV industry by introducing locally produced electric vehicles that are not only affordable but also tailored to the specific needs of the local market. These local efforts are not just about importing technology. They are about building homegrown solutions that reflect Zimbabwe's unique needs and challenges. As the market matures, Local innovators like Maxwell Chikambutso could become the torchbearers for sustainable, affordable EV technologies that benefit the country's economy while ensuring that the technology remains within reach of Zimbabweans. Now, let's turn our attention to the recent ban on the Tesla Cybertruck in Zimbabwe. To understand this decision, we need to explore the factors behind it and why the Zimbabwean government took such a bold stance on this highly anticipated vehicle. The Cybertruck, a vehicle that has captured the imagination of millions worldwide, was expected to be a game-changer in Zimbabwe's EV market. However, the Zimbabwean government's decision to ban the vehicle stems from several concerns. High import tariffs were one of the primary reasons for this ban. The cost of importing the Cybertruck into Zimbabwe, given the country's financial situation, was deemed too high to make the vehicle affordable for the average consumer. The Zimbabwean government has emphasized the need to ensure that imported vehicles align with the local economy, 
and remain within the financial reach of ordinary citizens. Moreover, roadworthiness issues played a significant role in the decision to ban the Cybertruck. While Tesla's vehicles are known for their cutting-edge technology and high performance, Zimbabwe's road infrastructure poses unique challenges. The country's roads are often in need of repair and lack the level of sophistication found in more developed nations. As a result, vehicles like the Cybertruck, with its larger-than-life dimensions and heavy-duty construction, may not be practical for Zimbabwean roads without significant adjustments to both infrastructure and vehicle design. In addition to these practical considerations, the government's decision reflects a broader vision to foster a sustainable and responsible EV industry in Zimbabwe. The government is keen on promoting vehicles that are both economically viable and environmentally sustainable. Zimbabwe aims to focus on developing a local EV market where affordable and tailored solutions are created to address the specific needs of the Zimbabwean people. The goal is not just to import international brands, but to build a homegrown ecosystem that empowers local industries, creates jobs, and reduces dependency on foreign products. While the Cybertruck ban has caused quite a stir, there is an opportunity here that could have lasting positive effects for Zimbabwe's local innovators. Let's take a closer look at one of Zimbabwe's leading innovators in the electric vehicle space, Maxwell Chikambutso. Maxwell's self-powered vehicle technology has been heralded as a potential breakthrough in the EV industry. His self-charging vehicle, powered by his patented energy systems, has the potential to address many of the challenges facing the EV market today, such as range anxiety and the need for frequent charging. While the Cybertruck's ban could be seen as a setback for some, it could actually accelerate the momentum for innovators like Maxwell. The absence of a global player like Tesla may open up space for local solutions to thrive. Maxwell's approach to developing self-sustaining vehicles could prove to be far more adaptable to Zimbabwe's infrastructure and needs, positioning Zimbabwe as a leader in affordable and sustainable EV technologies for developing markets. Zimbabwe's innovation landscape is well positioned to produce affordable, functional, and locally relevant EV technologies. The Cybertruck ban highlights an important opportunity for Zimbabwe's local startups and innovators to step up and take center stage. The market demand for electric vehicles is on the rise, and now is the perfect time for Zimbabwean companies to develop electric vehicles that cater to the specific challenges of Zimbabwean consumers. In the absence of expensive imported vehicles, Local companies can create cost-effective EV solutions that are tailored to the local road conditions and economic realities. By using Zimbabwe's existing resource base, such as locally available minerals for batteries and components, local EV production could be both environmentally and economically beneficial. What does this decision mean for Zimbabwe's place in the global EV market? While the ban on the Tesla Cybertruck may initially seem like a step backward for Zimbabwe's EV ambitions, it could in fact create opportunities for the country to carve out its own path in the global EV landscape. Zimbabwe's decision to prioritize local EV solutions might initially raise concerns for international investors who had hoped to see Zimbabwe become a hub for the global electric vehicle market. However, the ban could also encourage investors to engage more deeply with local innovators and explore partnerships that prioritize the unique strengths of Zimbabwe's domestic market. By leveraging international partnerships for local innovation, Zimbabwe can stand as an example of a country that created its own EV solutions, while also participating in the global market. Rather than becoming dependent on foreign players like Tesla, Zimbabwe could use the Cybertruck ban as an opportunity to develop an independent EV sector that caters specifically to the needs of the local population. By doing so, Zimbabwe could establish itself as a leader in sustainable, locally driven transportation solutions that are adaptable to other developing nations with similar challenges. The Cybertruck ban has undoubtedly created challenges for Zimbabwe's EV ambitions. However, with challenges come opportunities. 
The ban could serve as a catalyst for local innovation in the electric vehicle space, with a focus on affordability, sustainability, and practicality. As Zimbabwe moves forward in its pursuit of electric mobility, it will face both opportunities and challenges. On one hand, local manufacturers could capitalize on the growing demand for affordable EVs by developing vehicles specifically designed for Zimbabwean conditions. On the other hand, the absence of international players like Tesla may limit access to cutting-edge technologies and expertise that could accelerate Zimbabwe's EV development. The journey ahead for Zimbabwe's EV industry is full of potential. As consumers, investors and innovators, we must stay informed and engaged with the evolving landscape. Zimbabwe's EV future is a collaborative effort, one that can be shaped by the vision and determination of local innovators, supported by sustainable practices and smart policy decisions. It's time to embrace the opportunity for Zimbabwe to lead the way in creating an EV industry that's truly homegrown and reflective of its unique needs. Let's stay informed, stay inspired, and support the rise of a sustainable future in Zimbabwe's electric vehicle industry.